These earbuds were announced at CES 2022. And well, they're definitely a great option for people who need a more rugged pair of earbuds. Hey guys, we have the Jabra Elite 4 Active with us today. And just like how people like to use the Elite 65T and Elite 75T for exercise, these are also a great option for exercising or if you just want something that sits securely in your ear and still sounds good. Before we get into the review, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Let's talk design first, starting with the case. The case is actually more similar to the shape of the Elite 75T's case than the new Elite 7 Pro's, surprisingly. It is, however, ever so slightly taller, wider, and deeper. Aside from that, it's really quite similar. You get the Jabra wording on the front, along with a charging LED and a USB-C port on the rear. Unfortunately, these don't support wireless charging, so yeah. As for the earbuds, there's a very angular look to them, thanks to the faceplate. It's certainly a very different look from the Elite 7 Pro, 75T and such, which were more rounded. There are three colours, black, navy, and an interesting mint green that I unfortunately didn't have the chance to get. While the earbuds don't have the same shake grip coating featured on the Elite 7 Active, they still sit very securely in the ear. They're also very compact, so they're pretty much perfect for exercise since they don't stick out much. Moving on to the app, it's the standard Jabra Sound Plus app. There's ANC on these, so you get the option to toggle between ANC, hear through, and off. There are the music presets and the EQ feature, and that's about it. There really isn't much else to these earbuds, features-wise. They don't even have in-ear detection. That being said though, the ANC is pretty decent on these. They can't really be compared to more expensive competitors like the Sony XM4, but for the price tag, it works pretty well. While the earbuds look like they're touch control, since the faceplate is integrated to the shell, it's actually working on a physical control system, so you'll have to press the faceplate to get to the button underneath. As for the controls, it's one press on the left earbud to toggle ANC or hear through, double press to pull up the voice assistant, and a long press to lower the volume. On the right, a single press for play pause, a double press to skip tracks forward, and a triple press to skip backwards. A long press and hold raises the volume. Connectivity-wise, there's Bluetooth 5.2 on these, but I did notice quite a bit of stuttering when I was in subway stations or riding the train, so it's a bit of a disappointment there. There's also SBC and APTX adaptive, but there is no AAC support for some reason. Battery life is pretty decent considering that there's ANC in these. You get 7 hours in the earbuds with an additional 3 charges in the case for a total of 28 hours. Since these are exercise earbuds, it's pretty good that you get an IP57 dust and water resistance rating. Additionally, if you register the earbuds in the SoundPlus app, you get an extra 2 years warranty against dust and water damage, which is nice. Sound quality though, is pretty good. As for mic quality, it's not too bad I think. In a quieter environment, it's pretty decent, but as usual, people will know that you're wearing earbuds. Now, you're not going to get these for their accuracy, but honestly, the lows are pretty powerful and you do get a bit of a bump in the highs which result in a brighter, more energetic sound, which is really pretty much what you're looking for in a pair of exercise earbuds so that it can kind of keep you hyped during your workout. The bass is definitely powerful and you'll notice this if you listen to a lot of bass heavy music. That being said, it doesn't get distorted or boomy, which is good. The mids are slightly recessed in my opinion, which is fine, and you get pretty energetic and bright treble, which I definitely enjoy. All this is tweakable with the music presets and EQ, although it's not very granular with just 5 bars or adjustment points. The soundstage is slightly compressed and not as wide and spacious as I would have liked. But at the 179 Singapore dollar or 120 US dollar price point, I can't really complain that much. These are a great budget option for people who are looking for earbuds to accompany them on their workouts. So, well done Jabra. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the Jabra Elite 4 Active earbuds. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to us and like this video. Till next one, see you guys!